Pastos Biology Topics from the Study Guide With a little understanding of the arrangement of the thick and thin filaments, you can see where the light and dark bands come from. Notice that the thick filaments and the thin filaments overlap ever so slightly. Where they overlap gives the appearance of a dark band. Where they don't overlap gives the appearance of a light band. For example, this light band is due simply to thick filaments. This light band to thin filaments. The dark band to thick and thin filaments. Let's take a look at how a muscle actually contracts. Here are two thick filaments. The little projections are the cross bridges. Remember, the thick filament is made of several hundred myosin molecules and the cross bridges stick out towards the end. Here are three thin filaments attached to the Z line. And on the other side are three more thin filaments attached to a Z line. So what we now have is a sarcomere from one Z line to the other. And here's the way the muscle contracts. Binding of cross bridges, sliding of thick and thin filaments, release of cross bridge, which is relaxation, elongation. Contraction, relaxation, elongation. Contraction, relaxation, elongation. That's muscle contraction. Now, while we're looking at this, let's look at one more thing. Notice that in this view, the light band I'm pointing to is rather wide. But in this view, the light band has gotten narrow. Also, in the first view, the dark bands are fairly narrow. And in this view, the dark bands are thick. Now, it's easy to imagine why. Remember we said a muscle does one thing, and it shortens. And when it shortens, the thick and thin filaments slide across one another. And so, as the muscle contracts, there's greater overlap between thick and thin filaments. And the overlap is what appears to be the dark band. Not really a very complicated idea, in essence.